Hi, I'm Elizabeth Peace, Mrs. Atlantic States International 2019. My story is one of love, suffering, triumph, and faith. I grew up the youngest of five children. I spent most of my summers fishing and camping with my family, but despite those happy memories, there were secrets I was keeping from my parents. Things that happened to me I couldn't bring myself to tell anyone. When I turned 18, I tried to run from those memories by joining the military. In what is still one of my proudest moments, I joined the Air Force as a Security Forces Officer. I give credit to the military for teaching me how to be a better person and the volunteer I am today. During my service, I volunteered as a youth baseball coach at a domestic violence shelter and with at-risk youth. After becoming a mom, my life changed more than I could have ever imagined. I wanted to be home as much as possible, so I became a journalist and left the military. For almost 15 years, I worked my way up from a print journalist to a talk radio host, and finally to a TV news anchor. As an investigative reporter, I found startling evidence that adults were getting away with child abuse. And even when they were caught, state and federal laws weren't holding the abusers accountable. And while some of my reporting prepared me for future volunteer roles, such as being a board member for CASA, none of my advocacy work prepared me for the fact that it could happen to my own children until it was too late. According to statistics, children are 1,000 times more likely to become victims of child sex abuse if their parents were victims. That was when I learned about darkness to light. I immediately took the necessary training to teach child sex abuse prevention classes. But after all the things I had learned as a journalist, I knew I couldn't stop there. I began working with lawmakers on the state and federal level to enact laws that would protect our children from abusers. With more than 850 U.S. military bases worldwide and child sex abuse being the number one reason for incarceration in military members, I wanted to be the voice for those children. That's why my husband and I founded our 501c3 nonprofit, Operation Innocence. Our mission is to collaborate with international partners to teach child sex abuse classes at every military base around the world and mentor survivors of child sex abuse. I often tell people I didn't find my platform. My platform found me. I would never take away what happened to me as a child because I believe Heavenly Father was preparing me for the day when I would be able to say, I know how hard this is and we'll get through this together. To learn more about the ways you can partner with us, visit OperationInnocence.com or follow our journey on social media.